happy Saturday, everyone. Happy Saturday. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, thank you very much for visiting my channel. If you already are a crazy squad, thank you so much for um, coming back to another video. Um, appreciate it if you like, share, and comment. I love your comments because I do read them. Definitely. And um, I do respond back. Um, and if you can go ahead, you know, if you rocking with me and you like what you see, go ahead and help your girl out. It don't cost anything. Hit that red button. Hit that subscribe. Turn that red subscribe word to gray. Help me out. Okay. Just help, help your girl out. And, um... Is there anything else? Oh, yeah. Watch the video and the ads till the end. Yes. Ah, <sighs> okay. Look, done with that. Okay. Um, I have so much on my mind. And, um, there's a lot of things I want to talk about. And please, it's a trip because... You can sit here and talk about stuff and everybody, well, not everybody, but there, there'd be certain people always think you're talking about them. Like, why can't I just have some things on my mind that you as a viewer or whoever sees it just so happens to can, can resonate with it, okay? Or feel the same way or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just like when you go to church. You know, sometimes you go to church and you just feel like the pastor is talking directly to you. Like, who he been talking to? Who didn't told my bit? You know. No, it's just that the message today just so happens to be something that you may be going through or went through or dealing with or anything. I'm not talking about anything in particular okay but i do have some things on my mind because i can't my my nose ring just one second I'm gonna put it back in there i I, mean, I can't get my mind to stop okay for one i have i've been off of my car chronicles for over a year and i just you know and it's that's been i gotta get back into my into my um into my videos I have a lot in my heart. I have a lot, you know, that I want to talk about. A lot of things I want to share. I have things that I want to, you know, give inspiration to. What I mean by that is to give you inspiration or give you some encouragement. Because like I said, when I was growing up, we didn't have social media. We had to write it down, write notes, and, and you know, we... The, I think when I started really, really getting grown, we had Oprah. She came out with a TV show. But we didn't have anything like this. Okay? So, and I just want to give back. You know? But anyway, the word of the... I have a couple words of the day. The first word of the day is... Hypocrite. Do you guys know what a hypocrite is? Now, this word, I have, I'm going to keep it real with you. This word of the day, hypocrite, I was inspired by something I saw on here or been seeing. But this whole conversation is not about the particular, you know, uh, thing I saw or video or whatever I saw but it, it did inspire me okay because when I, let me tell you something it is so easy to tell somebody what to do how to do it when to do it and where to do it oh that's easy it is so easy to dictate to someone else what they should do, what they shouldn't have did, and what they could do. But you set up 
and you criticize, you make fun of, you throw up people's deceased loved ones. When I say deceased, I mean, we talking deceased children, they, they deceased children, they deceased parents, they deceased loved ones. And you know, when you lose a child, it hurts so differently than a parent. Yeah, you, you, <coughs> excuse me. Oh no, you be, you be toe up over a parent. You toe up over a grandparent. But that child hits you in a different way. A whole different way. You got to be an evil MF to make fun of that. Evil. So back to the word, the first word of the day, hypocrite. You sit up, not just who I was inspired by. But just period. Okay. That's just like, for example, like I said, this was inspired. This was inspired by something I saw. But the whole thing ain't just about what I saw. That, you know, particular thing. Let's say you went to the club on Friday night and got toe up from the flow up. And then you went to the club Saturday night. And got toe up from the flow up. But on Saturday night, you happen to see passel. Look, that's what the old people say. They say passel. They don't say pastor. They say passel. Okay. You happen to see passel up in, up in the club. Okay. Um, drinking a ice, a iced coffee with no sweetener i do have extra a little bit of extra cream that's why it's so light no sweetener it's just straight up coffee with cream and no sweetener okay you see passa on saturday night then you go to church on sunday and then he's sitting up here. He just so happened. See, he seen you in, 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 even though he was drunk and toe up, he seen you there as well. So when you go to church on Sunday, he just miraculously found the right scripture to talk about, you know, alcoholism and, and fornication and all these other things because he's deflecting. He want to, you know, throw it off on you or whatever. But he get up there in church and he preach about how it's wrong. And he preach about sin and fornication and, and falling short of the, of the glory of God. And you sitting there listening to him. Now, if you've never seen him in the club, you might have felt some kind of conviction about what he was saying. And you you would have believed him. You would have, you would have, you know, felt what he was saying. And you would have took some heed to what he was saying. But he's sitting up in church now on Sunday preaching. Telling you about everything wrong about what he sat up there and did on last night. But he pointing the finger at you. For one, he got to make sure he get them tithes and offerings. For the, for the people in the back, the slow people in the back that didn't know he was out last night. Hypocrite. Hypocrite is someone that will sit there and dictate to you about what's wrong and what's right. But turn around and do the very thing that he's telling you that is wrong 
they doing it themselves. So what inspired me about a hypocrite is that the inspiration came from this person was sitting here dragging these two other uh, women. And they were doing what their channel name is. It's, you know, I'm not going to mention it, but it's, it's very clear what their channel name is. They're telling you what it is. So they're doing what they say that their channel name is. Okay. Uh, it is what it is. They're not doing nothing wrong. And in fact, they're doing what everybody else do. So what got me, and I started laughing, because laughing out of disgust, not out of humor, out of disgust, because this person was sitting here dragging Dragging, 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 dragging these people. Talking about they deceased loved ones, calling them all kind of names, doing all kind of stuff. And then they ended the drag with a prayer. You gonna drag somebody and then you end your drag session Come closer. You end your drag session with a prayer. If that ain't being a hypocrite. And then all throughout the drag... You talk about how wrong it is for them to drag or them to talk about somebody or them to tease somebody. But you're doing the very same thing. Oh, not doing. That's that's present tense. But we're going to go back to past tense. You have done. Past tense, present tense, and are doing. The very same thing that you pointing your finger out at somebody else about doing. And then you're going to have the audacity to end it with a prayer. <laughs> That's what inspired me to talk about being a hypocrite because you see it all throughout. Not just on TV. You see it in your personal life. People around you, people, you know, you call up your friends and you might, you know, have a friend that you talk to that you, you know, you open up to a lot. And they see you and say, girl, I wouldn't be doing this and I wouldn't be taking that and, and you need to do this. And you, but then after you think about it, and you kick back and you think about it, you be like, damn, I'm not even in. Worse condition as they in. But how come they not taking their advice? I'm just saying. People are so quick to tell you what you need to do. What you shouldn't do. What you need to stop doing. What you need to start doing. But they never take a look at them own self. They never take a look at their self in the mirror. And I'm not sitting here giving it, maybe, you know, some people are like, you are trying to give advice. I'm not giving advice. I'm, I'm, I'm just talking about what's on my mind. I can't help that you didn't think that I had one. You didn't think that I was smart enough. You didn't think I was intelligent enough to sit here and talk about some shit. So now you want to really ridicule, like I can't say the word, ridicule me. 
and say I'm sitting up here on YouTube trying to talk to people, trying to give advice. That is not what I'm doing. But because you said that what I'm saying must sound good, but you must have thought that low of me mentally to not think that I, I had a brain or I had a mind. Now, I, I was talking to someone. Look, look, y'all probably like, where is she going with this? Yeah, I had to throw that out there. I don't sit up here and give advice. I try to inspire people from things that have hurt me or, or my struggles that maybe somebody else might be struggling too. And maybe they need to hear from somebody that's going through what they're going through or went through what they're, you know, going through now or whatever. So I'm just saying it was on my mind. That particular thing I saw inspired that one word of the day of a uh, hypocrite. And it's not just on, like I said, it's not just on social media. Because when you get off of social media, you're still walking around in the world. It's people. People do this. People you know in your personal life. People you know in your business life. People that you know in your, in, 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 in your family. People are so quick to forget where they come from. They forget. And then here's another thing. And I don't know what this word is. Let's call it help. Be careful who you take help from. Sometimes you think somebody helping you because they care. And I be, I, it's just be on my mind. Like, I can't get my mind to stop thinking because when I do something for someone, I don't throw it in their face. Because really, in my heart, I do it. Like, I feel like crying right now because I just don't understand. I do stuff because I care. I do stuff because I just want, I want to help the person or the people that I care about. And, uh, ain't it a trip how when somebody can't wait to have the opportunity to throw in your face what they did for you? The first argument, the first, the first, oh, crack in the door. They can't wait to tell you what they, they can't wait to. And then the very person that throw up in your face what they helped you do or what they did for you or whatever. Ain't did not a third. Ain't did... N can't touch what you did for them. And you didn't did some detrimental shit. Some life altering. shit for them. People don't help you for the benefit of you. They help you and do things for the benefit of them. What they're going to get out of it. How they're going to benefit up from it. How does it benefit them? Are they going to get paid? Are they going to get something? Or are they going to get some kudos? Whatever it is. It's not for you. It's for them. And I went through that with, with uh, my boyfriend. Like, you never want to do, fix things. This is broken. That's broken. Fix it. But you don't want to fix it until it's time for you, you to use it. Until it benefits them. And then sometimes, you, you know, lately, you know, I've really been sitting back thinking. Like, I'm tired of that. And I be thinking back like, 
Okay, let me think. What did I do that was so bad to this person? To How do you hate somebody like that? That really never did nothing to you like that. Especially when, especially when it's a family member. So, when you get into a relationship, whether it's with a sibling, a friend, um, a spouse, you know, I'm talking from a woman's point of view about a man, um, talking to the women, kick back and take note how that man treats his mother and his sister. Kick back and see how he treats the women in his life. That will give you a solid clue on how he will end up treating you. A sibling too. I always look at that because I say shit. If a, if, a, if a person can talk about their own mama or their own sister or their own brother on the other side of that, on as a friend, I'd be like, shit, I know I ain't no battle. Always look at when, when you are in some sort of relationship, look at how they that person treats their family, their mother, their father, their siblings. And then even if you're a man, if I have a man looking at this video, look at how your wife or girlfriend or whatever treats her mother or her father or her siblings. It will sh or their kids or whatever. It'll give you a, a solid clue Ah, uh, you gonna be ended up being treated, okay? Seriously. And so I was just thinking today. I I went to Starbucks. I went a whole day without smoking, and I just went and got me a pack. I'm really praying for God to take that taste out my mouth. But I'm, I'm, uh, I just was thinking about my life and where I'm at right now, decisions I made. Like, I wish I was meaner. Like, I, but I can't change who I am. Like, I wish I wasn't so caring. I wish I wasn't so. Um, hold on. Good morning. I wish I wasn't so caring. I wish I wasn't so, like, I just wish I was mean hearted. And I just wish I was because I just feel like people take advantage of me because of my heart you know because of my heart like I am I have a big ass heart like I really care and I don't be tripping off of him you know, it's just but I told myself no more so what I'm saying today is we have to, I have to accept the fact I have a big heart. That is just nothing I can do about that. But I just have to change um, the way I do things. I have to take note of who I need to fuck with and who I, I need to not fuck with. I need to take note on folks. I need to start remembering how people treat me. I need to start remembering stuff and stop forgiving and forgetting. I need to start remembering things. I need to stop wanting to be loved and accepted 
my people. I need to, and I'm talking to me, and if you guys are going through this too, sometimes there's a need of, of being accepted and loved. We have to accept ourselves and love ourselves because um, what we're longing for, we are not going to get it from somebody else. We have to get it for ourselves. And that's it, you guys. That's it. I got more on my mind, but that'll just be another video. I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts today. Um, please share with me in the comment section of your thoughts of my thoughts, okay? And remember, like I always say, keep your head up, your chest out, okay? Keep your nose level. Don't be walking around with your nose and your face all frowned up in the air, okay? It ain't nobody's fault that you feeling the way you feel it. Don't let nobody steal your joy. And I will catch you in the next video.